Thinking Aloud Conversations on the Leading Edge of Knowledge and Discovery with Psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. If, if you're almost getting the answer you expect, you're nowhere close to the edge. Mm -hmm. Well, you uh, write in your book, Reality Denied, about uh, some experiences that were technically considered failures, but that you believe uh, had a lot of merit to them. One of them uh, you refer to uh, is known as the Hutchinson effect. Yep. Uh, that, that was one that is really uh, highly controversial. It began, uh, George Hathaway and another Canadian had shown us a film of some things that looked really, really strange. We had items that were levitating, uh, accelerating, uh, burning. One of the problems was the range of effects. Yeah. Uh, so in, in that case, I actually paid them to recreate the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, which they did with John Hutchison, who was your worst nightmare? Nice guy, uh, but no scientific background he, he whatsoever. He was the inventor. Yeah, he was the, I mean, you talk about the, the, the mad inventor, that yeah. was him. Mm -hmm. And actually, he had discovered a number of these things kind of spontaneously. Um, he was interested in sparks. And so in, initially, he was sitting in his room, he had all these contraptions. Yeah. One of the things he had done is look at Nikola Tesla, mm -hmm. and look at what's the pictures of his uh, workbench, and from that, try to figure out what was going on. He, he would buy used equipment of various oh, types. Yeah. And, uh, and absolutely no control over the situation yeah. or anything. Um, what happened in the meantime is he got kicked out of his apartment because he was interfering. Remember, the television went, you know, through the air in, in those days. The neighbors so, were complaining. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, the neighbors were not happy, shall we say. Yeah. Um, but the U.S. military took an interest. Well, we did uh, for a while. Uh, the the other the problem was that we had agreed we would have uh, a show and tell mm -hmm. at a specific point. There were some things that happened that I am personally convinced happened. I had given him a number of samples, mm -hmm. and we had them under controlled conditions. One of the most interesting, we had a, uh, some small molybdenum rods. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very strong, and I had them for the PK parties, and nobody had ever been able to bend one. Mm -hmm. And damned if uh, when I went up there, they gave me one with a slight S-curve oh. uh, in it. Um, so what happened though is we had uh, the show and tell date and I had uh, you know, four guys from INSCOM including myself and two from Los Alamos and one of them was one of the people you've discussed before and this is the uh, it just flat debunker mm -hmm. you know and um, the problem was that during the time when things were supposed to take place nothing happened. And most unfortunate, what instead of writing a report, we came, we saw nothing happen. They wrote a scathing report, and actually suggested that Tom Bearden, you know, mm. local U.S. guy, had slipped into the country somehow and manipulated. It had absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, but that was enough to kill, you know, our particular ones. I couldn't get further funding on it. Yeah. But here's one where Jack Hawk and McDonald Douglas came along and supported it. John, to this day, continues to have strange things happen. John Hutchinson. Yes. The problem, frankly, is control. Mm -hmm. You know, can, you cannot control the effects, but they're certainly yeah. interesting. I, I, and we'll show some pictures because uh, from your book so that our viewers can get a yep. feeling oh, for... Oh, some of the material we saw. And, for instance, uh, they showed me he had a uh, crankshaft. Remember, he's grabbing crap, mm -hmm. literally, out of the junkyard. Yeah and had exposed to it. They took it to BC Hydro for testing. And the same piece of metal on one end is case hardened steel, on the other end is you know soft as lead. Uh -huh. And it just from being exposed to things. Mm -hmm. We had PVC that literally was pulverized and disappeared. Another one 
It took a rat tail file, put it between two wooden boards, put it in there. It lit up just like, remember the old incandescent light uh -huh, bulbs? Sure. We have a wire across there, and just like that, it lights up. Got to the point, the whole file, which is as big as my finger, just lit up and you know broke apart. Split in two. The interesting piece was, you know, this had been mm -hmm. white hot, they, they reached in and picked it up and it was cold. That was pretty risky. Yes. <laughs> but the problem, again, it gets uh -huh. back to control. I mean, yeah. scientists want things that are, you know, can be replicated sure. on a routine basis. Well, but sometimes it takes a long time before you get there. Sure. I mean, you mentioned the incandescent light bulb. As I recall, Edison tried like thousands of uh, filaments before he found the, the tungsten that actually uh, worked the best. Right. It, it doesn't always happen overnight. And, and this, by the way, I mean, this is just being exposed to the field. It wasn't wired into anything. It was uh -huh. just the fields mm -hmm. that, that he was generating. But he couldn't control the field. And, and frequently, we have stuff with cameras watching it, and you'd be staring at it, and something happens just off camera. I know yeah. we've talked about that with mm -hmm. Skinwalker Ranch and places like that mm -hmm. as well. Like, precognitive sentient phenomena, but it occurs in spades in these things. Very frustrating from a research perspective. Well, I know in your book you speculate that this might be what is known as a psychotronic effect. I, I don't understand the effect, but a psychotronic I would I would buy, certainly, yes. Yeah. In, other, in other words, as, as I recall, you talked to Hutchinson and asked him, are you doing any of this? Well, that, are you, uh, you know, that's are you the agent? That's another key point, because mm -hmm. um, when I, I talked to John, I said, are you part of the system? Mm -hmm. In other words, he's physically interacting with it yeah. at a psychic mm -hmm. level. Uh, he said yes. Uh, I've had mixed response uh, from that. Uh, one side observed him say he gets he would get he said he could tell it was going to happen because he'd get excited and then the event would happen. The other would say no, the event would happen and then he'd get excited. So yeah. it's kind of hard to tell.